Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today, God wants me to share with you a revelation that He gave me last night when I was stepping into the shower. And you got to think about this. If you're always thinking and meditating and talking to God, He's going to talk to you in the strangest places. <laughs> so, just expect that. So anyway, I was stepping into the shower, and I had an incident that happened to me the last couple of days. Um, about a week ago, on a Saturday, well, it began happening on Friday. My dog got really sick. Um, on Saturday, we began to notice that she, he, she wasn't drinking and she wasn't eating. And, and when she did eat and drink, she'd throw up. And then on Sunday, she went out in the heat for about an hour. And when she came back in, she was really thirsty. And she drank a couple cups of water, probably, and promptly threw them up. And I knew that that was dangerous. I checked her gums, and uh, when I pressed on her gums, uh, white, uh, you know, it was white, and it took a while to come back, and when I looked at her tongue, it was really white and awful, and uh, I just knew that she was sick, she was having diarrhea, and uh, throwing up, not being able to eat anything, she was laying around, um, so I uh, really didn't have that, didn't really want to take her to the vet, because on Saturday and Sunday, it costs triple the amount of money that it normally does and just couldn't do that and uh, so I decided well I'm, I'm gonna pray for her so I lay hands and I prayed for her I come uh, my dogs I have two puppies one's a border collie puppy and the other one is uh, the one that I'm talking about right now is a half lab half boxer she has a lot of personality and her and the other puppy tend to eat everything in sight and they were ripping up the ninoleum off our floor and eating it uh, we're now replacing our floor um, and she constantly eats washcloths and socks she, she finds a sock or washcloth she jumps up on the cupboard and gets the washcloths and runs off with them and then she eats them and then she throws them up and then she eats them again and I have to catch her and get them from her so I have to keep everything from her but <clears throat> she was eating her and the other puppy were eating linoleum so I thought well this is not good it could be you know she looks like she might have a little bit of blood in her stool. This could be that her intestines might be ripped from this, or she might have swallowed the washcloth and she can't get it down, or the linoleum, poison, whatever. So I prayed for her and believed God for her. And the devil would try to put pictures in my mind and thoughts in my mind, but I said, you know, I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to even check the dog. Uh, the Bible says that if, when you ask, believe, you receive. So that's what I was going to do. So that's what I did the next morning, the third or fourth morning of her being sick. She was fine. She was wiggling her tail and acting totally normal. Well, two days later, the puppy, who is 12 weeks old, who's a purebred border collie, um, we noticed that she was acting lethargic and uh, that there was blood in her stools. And then by the next day, I began to pray for her the next day. This really scared me. I found cups of blood on the floor. She had diarrhea with blood in it, but the next day, all she did was have blood coming out of her. And, and it smelled like most diarrhea does, but it was all blood. And I thought, oh man, this is an emergency. And I checked her gums and her teeth. Her gums were pure white. Her tongue was white. I didn't even have to press on her mouth to, to see how fast the blood came back into her. Her gums were white. And I was kind of shook up and said to my husband, you know, we got to get her to the vet right now. It's an emergency. And uh, we kind of talked about it for a while. And we want to be honorable. Um, we have come out of poverty. And we want to be honorable. We didn't have, we called the vet. And he says, yeah, well, we're pretty busy, but you can get her over here today. You'll have to leave her. It's going to start with at least $100. It could be par par parvio, parvo or something like that. Um, and um, anyway, bad news. And we decided, you know, the amount of money they went for us to put her on an IV and everything else, we just, we just couldn't do it unless we wrote a check that wasn't good, and we weren't going to do that. And we decided to be honorable, and we decided to pray over the dog and believe. And that's what we did. And the devil kept trying to put thoughts in my mind of finding the dog dead the next morning. Um, 
thought it's like, oh well, she's not your favorite dog, so it doesn't matter. Or, oh, you can just get another dog. Or, people have, from other countries have dogs dying on them all the time. Just pick them up and bury them. And, uh, oh, you remember that neighbor had five puppies and all five puppies died? It's nothing. You know, the devil would put stupid thoughts like that in my mind. I said, no, those are not my thoughts. Those are thoughts of the devil. I'm not receiving them and I'm not going to picture